get to drive a Ford short bed truck instead of a Chevrolet. It's nice when we get a Ford in. I uh, definitely don't get as many short wheelbase Ford pickups as I do the Chevrolets. And I'm a Ford guy, so I really like when we get stuff like this. This is a pretty cool truck. Um, it's kind of a custom style truck. The paint color on it's like a electric blue color. Uh, paint looks good. It's got some smaller flaws here and there, but overall the paint and body, um, it's got a nice shine to it. it has a nice custom interior. Uh, it's bench seat with the fold down metal armrest here. It's a custom two-tone brown with matching carpet, matching headliner, uh, door panels as well. They did a nice job on the custom interior. Usually I prefer just the stock style stuff, but whoever did this did a really nice job. Mechanically, this truck drives really nice. It's got a very strong 351 Windsor motor in it. It's not the original motor, but it's got good power. Transmission shifts really nice and positive. Feels like it's got a mild little shift kit in it. Cruising about 60 miles an hour right now with ease. The truck will do 70, 75 if you want it to. We'll let it warm up a little bit before we get on it. Impressive driving though. Um, steering feels really good. The brakes feel good. It's a truck that drives really nice and straight down the road. Doesn't road walk or wander. Mechanicals feel really good on it. It does have a nice set of BBK headers, dual exhaust, Flowmaster style muffler. It's not too loud where you can't have a conversation on the inside of the cab. If someone was sitting here, we could easily chat but it still sounds good. It has a really good, comfortable ride. It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't beat you to death. The suspension feels good. The truck's showing 82,162. Really solid underneath the floors, the frame rails, all that stuff look great on it. Another nice thing on the inside of the cab is these vent windows, they're just notorious for having like a whistling sound or you just have this wind noise. This one on both sides actually, it's nice and quiet. Put the window down a little bit, get a little airflow. Power disc brakes on the front, power steering. Like I mentioned before, it's just a really easy truck to drive. You can hop in this. Only thing I'd want to do is add AC and you could drive this truck daily if you wanted to. Has a nice spray in bed liner in the bed. Bed floor is really nice. Temperature gauge came up good, so we'll uh, get on it a little bit here. positive shift that was 65 almost 70 about half throttle the Windsor runs good a couple things I know that don't work the horns not working probably gonna be a horn button when you push it it's not doing anything and then your fuel gauge isn't working that's usually one of two things either the gauge itself is bad which is probably unlikely it's probably the sending unit in the tank. So again, a pretty easy fix. And then there was a couple little lights that didn't work, but overall, most of your gauges are working like your speedometer, your voltage gauge, your temp gauge, good oil pressure. It's a non-AC truck, but it does have a working heater. It definitely feels like a good truck. Last couple turns here, we'll take it down our normal bumpy road. Get a feel for the suspension. So far, it's doing good. There we go. Had the heater on. Let's get a little hot in here. All right, we'll flip around and head back to the shop. This is a true short bed truck. Nothing's been cut, nothing's been shortened. So it's a real 1969 F100 short bed pickup. Comparing this to some other trucks that we have, um, the drivability, it's definitely on par with, uh, with a couple of other short bed pickups that I have. I have a, a red uh, Chevrolet short bed pickup that's been lowered. So I'd say this one drives probably a little bit better than that truck. It's just got a little bit stalker style suspension to it uh, excuse me a stalker style suspension feel to it uh, the other trucks lowered so it's a little bit of a rougher ride so comparability this truck drives really nice all right last couple turns here 
first gear, second gear, and we'll head it on head on back to the shop here.